In this breakdown tutorial, I will show you power of Redshift 3D Noise. You will see how easily you can create template, multi-purpose scenes, and what everything is possible to create if you are using Redshift 3D Noise. Also, you can download all scenes what I am going to show you, so you do not need to create them from scratch. Check description for links and have fun! In our first scene, as we can see, we have one material. We have also plane. Turn off. There is nothing else currently. So back to select plane. And on the plane, you see our material. Or also we have sphere. So we can use instead plane sphere on both. We have applied the same material. We have few cameras. And also on cameras, we have the name to have better orientation when I was using sphere and I was using plane. But definitely you can make any combination when it's working for you. It's just literally to plane with this setup. So try to switch cameras, try to switch from plane to sphere, or even try to apply on different kind of geometry as your terrain or anything else when you need surface details. If you will switch to working plane, there is not locked camera, so you can move, you can zoom, you can just play to find on your surface the place which is working the best for you. There are plenty of details, so as you will move over the surface, you will just find many, many variations. I created this setup for details on the surface. So if you will zoom out too much, of course, uh, the setup will not work very well anymore. So let's go to back switch to our white camera and I will explain you how it works setup. All parts in setup has description. So as you see, this part has middle details or smooth cover, breakup or even bump mix. I try to keep everything cleanest as possible to understand easier what we are doing. So you can see always the same pattern. There is noise, ramp and power. Power is multiply of the visibility. So if you would like turn off current layer of the noise, just switch to zero. As I'm doing now, all power, if I will switch to zero, you will turn off visibility of each layer. Let's speed up for a while to make this tutorial the shortest as possible. Also, you can see that I'm using add or sub in description. Sub means that I am using noise layer for subtracting. Add means exactly opposite, that we are adding another layer of the noise. Let's go back on the top of the tree, select power node. Value higher than zero, we show you how looks your current output from your noise. So you can play with the intensity, how much or how strong you would like to use this current layer. Or always you come back if you are mixing with more than one layer. Next step is use the ramp. Ramp will help you to make your noise layer smoother, sharper, more contrasty, less contrasty. And of course, main node is noise, where you can play with the scale of this noise. Don't forget, higher numbers mean smaller patterns or more details. Smaller values doing opposite. In our course, we are going step by step through every single parameter in noise. So check it out. Now back to the power intensity, smaller power, little bit lower intensity, and you have your first layer ready for combination with another layer. I call them smooth cover. So now you can see visibility of the second of your layer. And of course, there is totally the same workflow as was layer before. So let's go a little bit speed up. And as you can see, you have almost endless possibility how to tweak your surface. But important is understand how works noise and what doing is parameters. And my recommendation is always select ramp in the noise layer and check out in the output how it looks and do your final tweaks exactly this way layer by layer 
because after that you have much better control how looks every single layer of what you need to use. And every single layer of the noise I designed with a different kind of the shapes. So if you are using direct output, you can easily see how your current layer looks or what I need to change, what intensity is working the best for me. Is always the same thing, the same workflow. And you will be literally in five minutes able to create another and another different kind of the surface with different kind of the details. Just be careful about sub layers because breakup or sub means that we are trying to break up uniformity of the noise. So exactly are subtracting from our patterns to get much more realistic results and it's helping us to create another variations. And in every single RAM node, you can do another level of the details if you are playing with the grayscale variations. And of course, always, if you would like to check final result, click on Material Blender and turn on output from Material Blender. Move with the camera to find sweet spot, which is the best working for you. Check out that your camera is free to move, that there is not any protection tag. And as we moving, you can see that we have different kind of the color variation, which is coming from Material Blender. It's our main material. I'm calling this Material Planet. And I prepare for you a few ramps, which you can switch and explore another variation of the colors. Or you can, of course, even create by yourself. Again, it's just playing with the color variations. It's everything above your creativity, what you would like to see there. But in setup, you have from me a few star points, which I hope will save a little bit your time. Again, now when we will move with the camera, you see that we are getting another different kind of the results with a different kind of the shape, sharper one, smoother one. So literally in a few minutes, you can find your sweet spot, your shapes, what you like, or generate totally different results. Let's do have a look on second scene, which I am sharing with you. The main difference is that I am using output from our noise layers. In the ramp node, I'm remapping the grayscale values to color values. So I'm getting also procedural diffuse color. Again, you have opportunity to play with the color values, color variations, different kind of the remapping. It's just everything about your creativity. And as you can see, it depends on our grayscale value from our mask output or our noise output. So if you will change values of your noise or you will change patterns of your noise or remapping grayscale value, of course, also your terrain will get different kind of the look. Final result is blend of two materials. So again, if you will remapping planet material, you will get different results. And here is our last scene, what I'm sharing with you, when we will try to make um, rusty or corroded material. It's again the same setup, just a little bit different values. Don't forget that all our scenes have also opportunity to turn on displacement. Geometry and tags for displacements are ready. Just be careful how powerful machine you have because it can really slow down your setup. As example before, from our final noise layer output, we are going to Material Blender, but also to Diffuse Color or our Clouds Material. Now we can see how it looks output from our remapping. So these values also can tweak in color correct. You can make them darker, more contrasty, or move your hue saturation. So 
So let's do try to make it a little bit darker or even brighter. Change hue shift. So we are getting idea of what everything is possible. And if it's still not enough, you can inside your ramp node change values, colors to get even more interesting variations.